Hi guys, so I'm Caroline and I'm going to be talking about kind of the progression that a school cheer team will undergo in one year. So I've been cheering for six years and last year was my final year cheering, so I'm going to be using last season as an example of kind of what we do throughout the season to get to our final product and I'm going to be showing you guys videos. So if you don't know about school cheer, a competitive routine for us is 2 minutes and 30 seconds and we stunt, we tumble, we have jumps. We do a pyramid and there's also a cheer section where the music stops and we do like a cheer that you would see say on the sidelines at a football game. Um, so the, the stunts are the most difficult part of the routine. You spend most of the season practicing for these and just doing them over and over again because you're coming into the cheer team knowing how to tumble, you're coming in knowing how to jump and even knowing like the basics of stunting. But in the beginning of the year, you're making a new stunt and you just rep this with your team over and over again because it's it's really difficult to learn and you want to do the best one that you can. So I'm going to show you guys a clip of the first time my group um, did our stunt last year and then I'm going to show you a clip of the first or one of our first competitions that we did it at. For a stunt we do a J up and then a high to high to two feet and then we do a 180 spin and roll out of it and finally we do a round off up to one foot. So at this competition, we did the same stunt, had a high two feet, roll out, and around off up to one foot. We just had a little bubble on the left there, but it was okay. So as you can see, there's a lot of people on the mat when we compete, so it takes a lot of practice and a lot of repetitions to get everybody doing the same thing at the same time and nobody falling on anything. So that takes a lot of hard work. We actually start um, at the end of the school year, and we have a couple months before we have to do that for the first time so we just spend that time just repeating over and over again and we actually start like practicing new skills even before the technical beginning of the season because most of us everyone except the incoming freshmen have to be in cheer class if you're on the team and those are the majority of the people trying out again so we spend all the time from the end of the season in February to the end of the school year, all of that free time in cheer class, we spend that just doing stunts and playing with different stunt groups and seeing what works and what doesn't work and trying to do like new skills that are possible skills that we'll have in our routine next year. So it takes a lot of work to get where we do at the beginning of the season even. So I put together a little clip of videos to show you guys like how much we fall and how much it takes to get a new skill because when we do it, it looks effortless. It looks like it's not difficult. But to get there, it's a lot of falling. So here's the clip for you guys. So I hope that was fun to watch. I know I always like watching fail videos of teams or myself falling. Um, that's definitely what makes cheer so dangerous is when you're trying to learn a new skill or you're doing a skill poorly, it can be really dangerous for when the flyer falls, if her bases don't catch her, or it's even really dangerous for the bases. I've seen some people get some bad concussions over the years, so it's really dangerous and it hurts really bad. To give a little bit more insight about when we're getting our skills, we have tryouts, like I said, on the last day of the school year, and then we'll normally have around three to five practices, depending on how many people are busy over the first couple weeks of summer. And then we'll go to this four day really intense cheer camp at UCF. And basically for the entirety of each day, you're just stunting with your new stunt group and they're teaching you a lot of new skills. So you're trying a lot of new stuff and trying to see what you guys can do um, for your routine that year. So this is a clip of what we did at UCA camp. This is just one stunt we did in the beginning of the year and we used it in our routine later on. So after cheer camp, we have about another month before we get our routine that we'll actually be competing and this is called choreography and it's two days, again it's pretty intense, it's like six hours each day and we have this choreographer that comes in and he just sees like what we can do, what we're capable of and most importantly what he thinks we'll be able to do in a couple of months because you don't have to put in the skills that you have right then, he knows that you can kind of progress and work towards that over the year. 
Um, so yeah, he just comes in and puts that together and it's really tiring, but by the end of it, we have a routine and we're able to practice it before the next um, competition, which is in November. So this is a clip I found of three of our stunt groups trying to do the elite that we had just gotten. This was after the second day of choreography, so we're all super tired and it looks pretty bad, but it's really cool to see the progression of the first day we got it to what we're competing. So right off the bat, my group bobbles, another group falls, and then on the spin down, we didn't finish spinning all the way, so I land on my base and then roll on my head, and then I fall again. So from the beginning of the season at choreography to the end in our last competition, we're basically just doing the routine over and over again, and we're trying to be as consistent as possible in our skills and also improve them at the same time so we can compete the hardest skills that we can. So this is a clip that I'm going to show you guys of our routine at State. So right off the bat, if you look to the right, you can see that Skyler's group had an early come down, which counted as a minor reduction for us. Next, we move into our running tumbling, which is a cartwheel top. And then we have our round off backhand spring falls that come up. And then we're going to move into our second elite, which is a 360 switch up. And we did a pretty good job with this. This was a solid start for us. Here I have a video of my team winning state at awards this past year. We definitely were not expecting it, so we all looked super surprised, and it was a really awesome video. It was an awesome moment for us. We're large varsity, PA, runner up. Henry. Oh. And you're large varsity, QA, state champion. Make some noise for Bunchy Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a much better understanding of what a cheer team does over the season to get to their final product and how rewarding this can be. Um, so I hope that if you're thinking of trying out for cheer, you definitely do it because some of my best memories over the past years have been with my team. So thank you guys for watching again and I hope you have a good day.